What is happening, everybody, on YouTube? Steve again with Rake and Profit, coming back to you with another live Hangout video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing some research on eBay and studying some vests which have sold recently. And, um, you know, if you've been selling clothing, you know that there's a lot of different things that you can sell. You know, anywhere from jeans to dress pants to blazers, sports coats, suits, button front shirts, long sleeves, short sleeves, polo shirts, athletic gear. I mean, and you could do men's, women's, kids, um, you know, adolescents. I mean, really, the list really goes on and on, and research is super important. I mean, not only with a clothing business, with, but with any business that you're running, you know, research really will pay you dividends over the long run, and uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. And, uh, you know, like I said specifically, we're going to be studying some vests. So, I mean, all I'm really going to be doing is going is I'm going to be going through the uh, sold listings on eBay and um, I've narrowed it down to the vest section under the men's clothing category and we're going to be just checking out some brands that have sold you know getting a, a little more familiar with some price points some designs that are selling you know some popular items so when you're out and about you know doing your thing sourcing items wherever you know you find yourself that could be a thrift store that could be a tag sale a yard sale whatever you call it an auction um, you know, even a Facebook group or Craigslist, wherever you find yourself sourcing inventory, if you find something like this at a good price, you can pick it up and make some money. So that's what we're doing today. We're just educating ourselves, and uh, I still do this all the time. And a lot of these brands that I come across and items, you know, I already know about it. I've been doing this for you know coming on two years, but you know, every once in a while, and usually every time I do this, I find something new a new brand, a new type of item, and, uh, you know, eventually it will pay me off. It's like putting future profits in my pocket just by doing this research. So, you know, I figured I'd turn this into a live hangout, not only help myself out, but help you out as well to uh, put yourself in a better position to make money when you're buying and selling clothing on eBay. So, like I said, we're going to be going through the, uh, the sold listings, studying the vests, and, um, I'm also going to be checking the comment section from time to time to uh, do a little Q&A, answer some questions if I can, if I know the answer, and uh, just help you folks out. So before we get into the video, I just want to ask you folks to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know that, first of all, you can hear me okay, that the audio sounds all right, and secondly, that you can see my screen. And the reason why I want to show you the screen is because I'm, I'm going to be showing you the items that have sold, looking through the pictures, looking through the listings, and... Um, you know, it's going to help you a lot more if you can see the screen. So bear with me for a moment. I'm going to be going into the comment section to make sure that, you know, things are on the right page and uh, things are looking good. So definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know. Hopefully everyone had a pretty good weekend. Hopefully sales are, you know, doing okay. I know a lot of people have been complaining about sales being slow and, uh, you know, not really bringing in the money that they desired. And I, I think... You know, this is just a slow period. Um, you know, a lot of people, their sales are a little lower. I think maybe, you know, the July 4th weekend and uh, maybe the summertime has something to do with it. But, you know, my sales are somewhat decent, a little down. But, you know, a lot of it has to do with me not, um, you know, listing as much. And I have been listing a lot more, but it seems the more you list, um, you know, the more items you sell, the more eBay just kind of pushes you into that algorithm and helps you to sell more items. So a lot of it has to do with, you know, us as the individual. Are we really working hard enough? Are we picking the right items? Are we taking great pictures? Let me check the comments section to see how things are looking. Antony Otto, hey, Rakin, hear you loud and clear. Thanks for coming. Brandon Rogers, what's happening, Brandon? Brandon says, sounds all good. Everything looks great. Coco Army, what is happening, man? I've been glad that uh, you've been making a lot more videos lately. And uh, it really surprises me some of the awesome items that you find and the, the price points that you get. So um, Coco Army is awesome. Check him out in the comment section. He just commented. He's got a YouTube channel, Coco Army. Go subscribe right now because I'm telling you right now, if you like clothing, if you're watching me, I know you like clothing. And this guy, he is killing it. I learned a lot of stuff from Coco Army. And, um, you know, a lot of brands, when I when I was first getting started, I didn't know a lot of the higher-end brands. There wasn't really a lot of people doing it and talking about it. So, uh, Coco Army, man, glad to have you here. And we're going to get started real, uh, real shortly, folks, so just bear with me. So, Antoni says sales are steady, a little slower. At least they're steady. Armando Swinos. I know I slaughtered that name. I apologize. Sounds great, Steve. All right, so it looks like uh, you know things are sounding good. 
And, um, you know, let's get into this little uh, research session. We're going to study some vests. And, again, you know, a lot of these items that we're going to be talking about, you probably already know about them. But then again, if there's one thing that you learn here, or if you're new, I know you're going to learn a lot. But even if you're in an intermediate or an advanced, if there's one thing that you learn, you know, that can definitely make it worth your time spending uh, 30, 45 minutes with me. So let's get into it. And I'm just going to be choosing random things. So let's see. What do we have here? We have a Carhartt insulated vest. $39.99, also included $8.99 shipping. Let's check that out. Carhartt's a definitely an uh, excellent brand. I've sold the, I don't know if I've ever sold a vest before in this brand, but um, the heavy jackets do really well. The Even the pants do well. I mean, this brand is very popular. I was at the thrift store the other day, and there was a woman walking around with her husband, and uh, she wasn't a reseller or anything, but she was talking to her husband, and she says, I wonder if they have any Carhartt here. That's that's an expensive brand. It's an awesome brand. It just made me think, you know, that brand really does do well for me, and people are searching for it. So this is the brand, $39.99. Looks like it's insulated. I'm trying to find some more pictures. I mean, not the best pictures either, but still just one of those household brands that people are looking for and can bring you in some good money. Here we got a brand that I usually don't pick up, St. John's Bay. This is usually a brand that I avoid at all costs, and it looks like this brand was offered at $29.99. looks like it's a, um, I think the right terminology is a puffer vest or a goose down vest. I'm not sure. I think it's just a puffer vest. It was offered for $29.99. took a best offer. If you ever want to find out what the best offer was taken for, just hit the print button down here on the lower right-hand side. That will bring up another page showing you. So that sold for $25. Not bad. Um, you could definitely pick that up for three or four bucks. Not sure if that would fit into a padded flat rate for five thirty-five, but still maybe a zone A or a zone B box or a zone A box for maybe seven or eight bucks. So still some potential to make money, which again proves the fact. And I always say this, you know, don't judge a, don't just judge a brand. Don't say you know St. John's Bay never sells. Don't say Morona never sells or Aeropostale or American Eagle. While they are lower in brands and most of the time they're not going to sell for a huge profit. Don't discriminate just based on the brand because depending upon the size, the color, uh, the time of season, the time of the year, um, just the design, it could bring in some good money. So you never really know. And uh, this sold for 25 bucks, so nothing crazy, but um, you know, still sold. And just so you know, I did set the sidebar to the, if you look at the price right here, I set it to 25 and up. And the reason why I did that is because I don't want to be wasting my time, you know, uh, searching through items that only sold for seven or eight or nine bucks, and uh, you know, I really want to focus on the items that have, you know, brought in a good profit. Items that I know if I find them, I can flip them for a good, you know, amount of money. Not that I'm going to be able to do it all the time, but still, it just saves a lot of time. So I definitely suggest that you do that when you're searching the uh, or scanning the sold listings. Here we have a, and it's pre-owned as well, because that's most of the stuff that I find. Here's a marmot. Vest, it looks like they use some good keywords, hiking, camping, fishing, size large. This is a terrific brand right here, and I highly recommend picking it up. I've sold this several times and uh, always seems to sell quickly and for a good profit. I'll let you take a look at the tag right there. That's definitely something you want to be focusing on. Looks like it's got the full zip and also has the left chest zipper pocket as well, which is a nice little uh, selling feature. Let's take a look at the listing a little bit. They did a good job and was made sure to include the measurements. So for like a vest or a short sleeve shirt, I'll only include two measurements, which will be the chest measurement, the pit to pit, and the length, which is the collar to the bottom or the hem, however you want to uh, do it. But, you know, when it comes to measurements, just make sure that however you decide to measure it, maybe you decide to measure from the bottom of the collar down to the hem or the top of the collar down to the hem, just make sure to, you know, let the potential buyer know how you're measuring it so they can compare it to the item that they already have to make sure it fits properly. So actually looks like um, this might be somebody who watched my videos because this looks like my old um, listing template. That's funny. I think this actually is my old listing template. The bottom is. So maybe this person is uh, actually watching the video right now. That's really funny. But uh, Marmot, excellent item right there and um, definitely sold for some good profit. Here we have a uh, beautiful vest right here, and I think this could have brought in a lot more money, but still, it brought in $31. The brand is Scully, which is a Western brand. You'll find this brand um, predominant in terms of the Western shirts, the Pearl Snap shirts, and pretty much a Pearl Snap shirt is just a, it's, it's kind of like a Pearl button and replacement 
of a normal looking button. Just do the type in Pearl Snap. You'll see what I'm talking about in the uh, search engine. But Scully, awesome brand, really cool design. Looks looks like this thing is vintage in nature, just based on the tag. Looks like it has some brass buttons, but I could be wrong. I think this maybe could have brought in 50 bucks, but still, 31 dollars is a uh, nice little profit, and that's definitely an awesome brand. You know, button front shirts, Pearl Snap shirts. Look for the the vibrant stuff. The items with the embroideries or the cool floral designs, those are the things that really bring in a really nice profit. Here's an interesting brand right here. I've never picked this up. The brand is, I believe it's Vanguard. Let's take a look at that. Looks like this is a motorcycle leather vest. Those are some of the keywords that were used in the title. Here we go. The brand is Vanguard. So I've never found this brand before, or maybe I skipped it over and I didn't realize it, but I've never picked it up and sold it. I believe this brand does pretty well. I'm going to do some more research after this uh, hangout to see what Vanguard is all about. And, uh, you know, this is what I like to do when I'm selling or when I'm researching. I, I got a pen and paper right next to me right now, and I'm going to write this down as I'm speaking. And uh, that's what I do. I, I accumulate little lists of items or maybe, you know, different things, and I research them and go more in depth to see what it's all about because you never really know. All because one item sells for. 50 or whatever this was accepted for. It doesn't mean everything's going to sell well, but then again, maybe a lot of these things sell for 100 or 120. This sold for 40. Um, so it's always good to do some more research. You know, take everything with a grain of salt. Even this video that you're watching right now, this live hangout. You know, don't just say you know all because Marmot sold for this or uh, you know St. John's Bay sold for that. Don't just take that and say, all right, everything's going to sell for that because it's not true at all. There's so many different factors. There's different items, colors, sizes, fits. The list goes on and on. So make sure to take this you know, to the next level. Do some more research on your own. You really you got to be responsible for your own um, you know, destiny pretty much. All right, next item. Here we go. That's a pretty cool little uh, Levi Strauss. Uh, denim vest. Those things do pretty well. They went for 26 Here we have a J. Lowe. And the style is Ludlow, and I've noticed that the J. Lo, Ludlow, J. Crew Ludlow stuff does really well. Even like the uh, the sport coats and stuff, the blazers, very very popular, and it could bring in some good money. This went for forty four ninety nine. Looks like it is Irish linen, which is a terrific material to focus on. Khaki. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, size medium, six buttons. Let's take a look a little farther in this. See what this is all about. It's a nice item right there. Looks like it's got some pretty lining inside. Wow, that's nice. J. Crew, again, one of those brands where some of the stuff doesn't really do that well. And then on the other hand, you find like a J. Crew Ludlow style, it can bring in some good money and uh, with all different types of items. So never judge a book by its cover, never judge a brand by its cover, if that makes any sense. All right, let's X that out. Let's go into the comment section real quick, see what people are talking about. Looks like we got 20 people watching right now, so that's awesome. I know it's a lazy Sunday. People are probably laying back and uh, taking little cat naps, or maybe they're uh, doing their own thing, getting ready for the week ahead. But let's see what's going on in the uh, comment section, answer some questions, shout some people out. Looks like we got five likes as well. Appreciate that. If you guys like these videos, these live hangouts, if you like me sharing my research and education with you, because honestly, I could do this on my own, but I'm, you know, I'm going out of my way to help you folks out. If you like this, hit the like button. Show some support. Let me know that you enjoy these videos. Not only does the like button help me in terms of letting YouTube know that this is a popular video and it helps push it out to more and more people, but it lets me know personally that it's helpful, that you're enjoying it, and uh, that I should do more of them. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. It's all good. That's what it's there for. But uh, definitely let me know how you feel about these videos. I'd appreciate that. Wesley, we'll check this out later tonight. Thanks, Steve, for putting out these videos. Hope the new office is treating you well. Yeah, man, uh, definitely. I appreciate you uh, stopping by and checking it out. The office is amazing. I love it. Just had my buddy um, over there today again setting up another clothing rack and um, you know just preparing for you know the future for having more and more items because I tell you right now if you want to sell more you definitely got to have more in your inventory I mean even take a look at the big box stores they have so much inventory and they know the more you have to an extent the more you're gonna sell but um yeah things are going well I appreciate you stopping by Armando, hey Steve, have you tried Renegade brand vests, mostly for hunting, photography, and fishing? 
I don't recall ever coming across that brand. I don't really know much about it, so I'm going to write that down right now as well and uh, do some research, but thanks for that. Golden Finger Picker, what's happening, man? Chilling at the beach, watching and learning. Living a life of a reseller. Hey, man, I want to let you know I really enjoyed your uh, Picker's Church uh, live hangout today. I was over at the office um, for a few minutes, and I had that in the background while I was doing my thing, so I definitely appreciate that. You guys really doing an awesome job and putting out some excellent content. So anyone who's watching, go over to the Golden Finger Picker channel, subscribe to him, and stay tuned for his uh, him and his group's live hangouts, the Picker's Church. I believe that's what it's called. Some good stuff right there. So Golden Finger Picker also uh, said Vanguard makes a lot of military uniforms. That's good to know. Thank you. All right, let's go back into the sold items. I'll try to find something that I'm not 100% familiar with. Everyone knows Harley Davidson. If you find that brand, definitely pick it up. Sells for some awesome profits. This one sold for $109.99, and um, I've actually sold a few of these. I did sell a uh, Harley Davidson vest. Probably about, I don't know how long ago, maybe eight or nine months ago, I picked it up for, I think I paid like 10 or 15 and sold it for 150 pretty quick. So I believe 150 somewhere around there. So those things could definitely bring in some really good money, anything Harley Davidson sells. But the leather stuff is probably the most popular, the stuff that's going to make you the most uh, you know bang for your buck. All right, this looks interesting right here. This is a Rebel Rider. Black leather patchwork motorcycle vest, suede, laces, some of the keywords in there. This looks great. Let's take a look at this. I don't know if I've ever heard of this brand before. Rebel Rider. I'm going to write that down right now, do some more research. The uh, the seller did a terrific job taking pictures. Almost got that perfect white background, almost. Um, $40.50. I like how it has the laces on the side. That's cool. Just looks like a you know a nice genuine piece of uh, leather that uh, you know is is nice. Looks like some good craftsmanship. Very nice item. Got the measurements. They got the return policy. Just a nice page. This seller did an excellent job. Store categories. Forty dollars and fifty cents. Rebel Rider. Here's another brand I'm unfamiliar with. This is what I'm talking about. You learn so much by doing this. It's ridiculous. This is a brand called, <coughs> excuse me, Faberbrook. It looks like that's the brand. They got the keyword England in there, so maybe it's an English brand. Looks like a very interesting design. They've got a nice tie, the little dress shirt, prepping it up. That's cool. Looks like this was listed for $59.99. I want to find the tag. There we go. Wow, Jermaine Street, London. I know I see that a lot with the Thomas Pink items and the uh, the TM Lewin items. Nice item right there. Fifty nine ninety nine. Took a best offer for forty bucks. So definitely an awesome little uh, profit right there. If someone picked it up for three or five bucks, which I think you realistically could for something like this, forty dollars definitely leave you some room to make you know twenty five thirty dollars profit was when all said and done. So five or six times your money. Awesome item right there. I'm gonna put that in my memory bank and uh, try to remember that for the next time I see it. Do some more research on it. All right, Filson. That's an awesome brand. Not sure about this brand. I don't know if I can pronounce it right. Montclair. Montclair. I think I actually saw somebody who picked this up. I don't know if it was in the green room or somebody messaged me on Facebook and they picked this brand up. I'm pretty sure. Um, at a yard sale, and I think they were trying to sell it for like 600. This is a really high-end brand, I believe. Don't quote me on it, but I'm gonna do some more research on this as well. You could try to pronounce it M O N C L E R. Two hundred forty-two dollars and seventy-five cents. That's some craziness right there. Looks like it's a little puffer vest. Wow, really nice piece of uh, clothing right here. Show you some of the pictures. Looks like they got a yellow hanging mannequin. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's yellow. Maybe it is. Wow. it's a lot of money for a, a used item right there. Here we got an L.L. Bean vest. And the L.L. Bean vest, vests, best of best, could bring in some pretty good money. Um, I've definitely sold a few of these. And this is this is really cool. I like the, the color. It's got the orange and the brown. The tag lets me know that it's somewhat older. I'm not sure if this is necessarily a, uh, a fishing vest. Looks more like a hunting vest with the back pocket. 
uh, extra large, 100% cotton, Freeport, Maine, so it's definitely vintage or at least uh, 10 years older or more, so maybe it's not 100% vintage, but it's older. Um, the Freeport, Maine stuff definitely seems to do pretty well, like all of it, so definitely look for that. Check that out in the sold listings. You can see firsthand what I'm talking about, but this sold for $29.99, LL Bean Sandstone and Orange, Ripstop Hunting Fishing Vest, made in the USA, and that's key with the... Uh, with the clothing. If you can find stuff made in the USA, a lot of times there's going to be a market for it. There's going to be somebody looking for it, looking for that American craftsmanship and, um, you know, maybe trying to relive the past or have something that they used to wear. But uh, awesome item right, down, right there, L.L. Bean. Here we go again. This is an example that you don't judge a book by its cover. All because a brand most of the time isn't going to sell for a good profit doesn't mean that you should exclude it altogether. This is a brand called Arizona, a lower-end brand. I think you could find this at like uh, Target or Walmart. And, um, you know, this is an item that sold for $25.99. Again, not a killer jackpot, raking jack jackpot item. Not something that's going to help you retire or anything crazy. But it is something that could put some money in your pocket. Imagine, you know, there's some people who have like dollar days at their Goodwills or like over here in Connecticut, I have half off days. I can pick this up for anywhere between two and four dollars. And if I sell it for twenty five ninety nine, you know, I can make fifteen bucks, maybe a little more, depending on how I ship it. But uh, you know, even if this is over thirteen ounces and you can't get away with the first class mail, you can definitely ship it off for five bucks, maybe a little more. You can put it in a legal flat rate envelope or a flat rate padded envelope or a zone A box. But uh, twenty five ninety nine. Uh, definitely, um, the, the the leather is gonna help it to sell. I think that's why it brought in so much for such a, I guess, a lousy brand because it kind of is. And also the three extra large tall definitely is helpful because you know the bigger folks they have a harder time finding items. You know it's more difficult to you know find a, the three x, the four x, or even the two x. I mean, most of the more common sizes are gonna be the mediums, the larges, the extra larges. So for those reasons, you know this thing brought in some good money, twenty five ninety nine. Again, nothing crazy. But, you know, still, you could make money selling clothes in terms of any brand out there. I've flipped some of the most lousy brands that you could think of, brands that people would say, you're crazy, why would you pick that up? And the thing is, you know, the more you get involved in clothing, in selling clothes, the more you're going to start to realize that there's these factors that play a pretty big role in, you know, what kind of price you're going to yield from selling these items. So the more you do this, the more you're going to learn. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, they go to thrift stores, they can't find anything, but I tell you, the more you do this, the more you're gonna be able to see those those little diamonds in the rough. You know, a lot of people are going through, they're trying to, you know, sell clothes and other types of items, but they don't have that knowledge, that specialized knowledge that you folks have, or the knowledge that you're learning just like right now that uh, you know, will enable you to buy these things and make some money. So I know that was a kind of a long winded answer, a little rant, but I tell you right now, there's potential in pretty much any brand. And depending on where you are in the country, if you get things cheap. You could definitely make some money. Let's move on to the next item. Let's find another cool item. Here we have an item that, or a brand that I'm not familiar with off the top. A vintage William Berry Brandon. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. Let's try to find the tag and see what this brand is. Uh, Brandon, I can't really read that too well. William Harry Brandon, some Colorado. So maybe that's it. William Berry Brandon, Colorado. Not sure if that's the full brand if you know definitely leave a comment below but this sold for $29.99 plus $8.99 to ship which again you know isn't an amazing sale or anything like that but still these things where you could pick them up for three four bucks maybe two dollars or a dollar on a dollar sale if you could sell them for 30 bucks you're making some good money and you're gonna have a hard time turning a dollar into 25 bucks in your um, savings account or anything like that or on a money market account or you know investing in stocks some stocks, obviously, some of the more conservative ones, but you know, definitely an awesome, an awesome item, I guess, right there, or a nice little sale. I'm gonna do some more research. I'm writing that down right now. I want to research this brand a little more. Never heard of it before, but yeah, I mean, not not even a spectacular picture or anything, but still brought in some decent money right there. What's this? A vintage Christian motorcycle denim jean vest with patches extra large. Let's check that out. It really amazes me how much I'm still learning on a daily basis. 
you know, a lot of people that come to me and they, you know, they think because I got a, a lot of subscribers on YouTube and this and that, that I know it all. But honestly, guys, I'm just an average guy, just like any one of you folks watching this video. You know, I'm just the only difference is I'm taking, I've been taking everyone along on my journey since day one, from the first day when I didn't even know what a Pendleton shirt was. So, you know, I'm learning. I don't have all the answers. I definitely don't. Um, you know, I'm not the, the brightest bulb or the smartest guy. I'm just an average dude who's, um, you know, just making videos and sharing my experiences and just kind of sharing the wealth because there really is a lot out there for all of us. But um, I'm not sure what the brand is on this. I don't see a tag. Um, it might just be like a random vest with patches on it or whatnot. But still, I mean, $39.99 plus $375, definitely a cool item. And this is an item that 95% of the people would probably pass up, if I had to guess, at a thrift store. And uh, you could scoop it up and make some really good money. This is just a really cool item right there. I wish I could tell you more about it, um, but I really don't know much about it. Here's another brand that I'm unfamiliar with. What's this all about? Tratch Trachtin? <laughs> oh, shit. 50 European, so the European size is 50, the U.S. is 40. You always want to subtract 10 to get the U.S. size. This went for 29.25. Looks like it's a wool item. Let's check that out and see what it's all about. 100% wool, size 40 U.S. Got the measurements. Let's take a look at the tag. Wow, I've never seen that tag before. Have you? Tratched in. Cool, really cool. I'm gonna write that. Brand down as well. Check that out a little more. Twenty nine ninety five. They ran a thirty five percent off sale and ended up snagging a sale. Plus seven fifty to ship. Kind of reminds me of a vintage. Uh, well, not really, but the vintage Woolrich vest, except they don't have like the brass buttons. Here we got a brand Royal Robins. Haven't sold this brand. Um, Maybe I have once, but haven't sold it recently, that's for sure. Uh, definitely a nice vest right here. I like how the seller put the black backdrop for the picture. It really helps it to stand out, and that's something I'm planning on doing. Right now, I, I just recently bought some seamless paper for my backdrop. It's a white uh, color, but when you when you picture some of these, you know, tan items or the white items, it's really hard, you know, getting a good picture when it's got, like, a lighter background. So I'm looking to definitely invest in a... Um, a dark background as well. It's just I have such limited space at this office. It's only 400 square feet, so I'm gonna try to rig something up. But um, awesome item right here. Looks like it was originally uh, for sale for 39.95 plus 5.99 to ship, and the line going through it indicates a best offer was accepted. Let's see what that sold for. 30 bucks. So definitely an awesome sale right there. Here's the uh, the tag to be on the lookout for. And I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. A lot of people selling this. So uh, definitely check that out in the sold listings. All right, I'm going to go into the comment section real quick. See what's going on, how many people are watching. Looks like we got 30 watchers. Awesome. I'm glad that people are stopping by and doing a little research on a Sunday, Sunday evening. Let's see what's going on. I'm actually on another page right now checking the comments, so bear with me for a moment. 13 likes. I appreciate that. Thanks, everybody, for showing support. It's awesome. Louis the Seller, what's happening? My man was just watching your video the other day. Good stuff. Definitely check out Louis the Seller, everybody. He's got some cool videos. What's up, Steve? Thanks for sharing and allowing me to learn a lot from you about clothing. Anytime, my friend. That's what I'm here for. Dave O'Brien. Hey, Steve. What's up? What's happening, Dave? Just doing a little learning, a little education. Golden Finger Picker. Let's see what he said. Laugh out loud. Florida Picking Queen said, can't you stop learning for a little while and enjoy the beach? <laughs> learning never ends for me. I'm weak on vests, and this is helpful. helpful. Thanks for taking the time to help. We all know in our industry, time is money, so it is appreciated. Yeah, I appreciate you taking some time to, um, you know, do some, get some education while you're on the beach. I was actually just at the beach yesterday in New London, Connecticut, for the um, the Sail Fest event. It's like a really big uh, event where they do fireworks and they have a bunch of concession stands and whatnot. But I was enjoying the beach yesterday, and I tell you guys, 
you know, regardless of what you do in your life, you know, money doesn't mean everything. You've got to, you know, it's awesome to be learning and growing your business, but you got to take some time and enjoy life because we're not going to be here forever. We're here for a short period of time and then we're gone. So you got to take some time to, you know, spend time with your loved ones, go out to the beach, enjoy Mother Nature, have some fun, laugh, giggle, you know, don't take life so serious. I mean, I mean, you know, this is just one aspect of our life. So definitely uh, enjoy yourself. Go out to the beach. Get some sun on your skin. Justin Starcher, the listing challenge is on. Uh-oh, we got some trouble in the house. What's going on, Justin? Aaron Anderton, Arizona is out of J.C. Penney. I knew it was I knew it was kind of in a, uh, not a lower-end store, but I knew it was in a store that a lot of people necessarily wouldn't consider high-end. But, uh, yeah, that Arizona vest did sell for, what, $25.99, so you can still make some money. Armando, thanks to you, Steve. I found this vest at a thrift store for three dollars and sold for forty-nine ninety-nine. Uh, what? Taking a look at this vest right now. Universal Pictures, thirty-nine ninety-nine. Nice job, Bradley Kessler. I see Coco Army was watching. That guy has some good videos. He mentioned rake and profit often. Good job, Steve. You're everyone's guide to success and have helped many. Hey, you guys. You know, a lot of you guys have helped me out too. I appreciate that. Um, you know, from the videos that you folks have been making as well, and blog posts and stuff of that nature, hauls. So, you know, I'm just a guy who, you know, I just share my information. A lot of this stuff, I might not have necessarily invented it or, you know, came across it first, but I'm more of a person who just shares it and just kind of, you know, helps people along. But, you know, definitely don't give me all the credit. There's a lot more folks out there who are, you know, really, you know, kicking butt. But we got Billy. Chacon, Chasson, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but <laughs> sorry about that. Running running late and glad I made it. Thank you so much for all you do. I am just getting started in reselling and learned a lot from you. Keep up the great vids. Appreciate that, Billy. Um, you know, we all got to start somewhere. You know, I remember when I was brand new and, you know, trying to get the hang of things. I'd walk into a thrift store and just, I'd be so overwhelmed. You know, there was no 101 killer clothing brands. There was no, you know, 10, 20, 20, 30 people, you know, doing haul videos and all that. There was a few, but, you know, I kind of had to learn on my own. So definitely be grateful, be happy, uh, you know, that you've got all this information at your disposal. There's so much opportunity out there, not just with clothing, but, you know, with Amazon, FBA. I mean, just a humongous opportunity right now. Craigslist, just so many things. I mean, Etsy, just so many opportunities. Those are some platforms, but just items in speci like items specifically. I mean, there's just so many things out there. It's ridiculous. But uh, you know, definitely keep watching the videos. Take one step at a time, and uh, you know, you're gonna have setbacks. You're gonna have failures. You're gonna screw up. You're gonna buy things, bring it home, and realize there's a huge flaw. You're gonna get returns. You're gonna get scammed. I mean, bad things are gonna happen. But just remember. If you keep your head up and you keep striving forward over the long term, things are gonna work out for you. They did for me, and uh, you know I know a lot. A lot of you guys out there who watch my videos. You're smarter. You're brighter. You're you work harder. And uh, if I could do it, you could definitely do it. So, you know, keep your head up. You know, I love what I do. I don't have to go in and clock into a job. I wake up in the morning. You know, I get started. I do my own thing, and uh, I'm constantly trying to build different income streams and just. I've got that entrepreneurial spirit, and I know a lot of you folks do too. I just I love it. I love being on my own and working for myself. And uh, you know, eBay, Amazon definitely is a great way for you to do it. Aaron Kipper, woohoo! Vests. I didn't think anyone would be so excited over vests. What's happening, Aaron? All right. Looks like that's all for the questions right now. I'm gonna just update it one more time and get back into the. Sold listings. Go over a few more. Just updating the comments real quick. Mass Pickers, what is happening? You're not too far away from me in Massachusetts. Maybe we can meet up sometime for a Savers half off sale. Found a brand new pair of Louis Vuitton loafers. Got them authenticated today. MSRP $650. Oh, yeah, paid $50. It's a lot to pay for an item, but if it retailed at six fifty, I'm sure you could probably bring in maybe a hundred, three hundred, maybe more. Definitely a nice little pickup right there. I'm glad that uh, you got them authenticated. I'd be a little nervous paying fifty dollars for anything um, that had that kind of name brand on it, just because a lot of these things are bootlegged. But I'm glad that it worked out for you, and I'm sure you're going to turn some nice profit. 
David Wood. Hey, Steve, when's the Rake and Fitness Channel making a comeback? I tell you, David, um, you know, to be honest with you, I've kind of been probably over the last three or four months been screwing up dealing with a few things and you know my fitness and health definitely has been declining so I've been thinking about getting it back up and started again um, just to hold myself accountable and leverage myself and once I get my um, my website back up and running which I do have someone working on it hopefully they're gonna get it up and running soon um, I gotta get on their butt for it but um, I wanna start doing you know some stuff on there as well where I kinda show my goals and you know, keep myself accountable. I think that's key, but hopefully soon that'll be up because I tell you, I got to get back in shape. When your when your fitness and your health is declining, and it just it really takes a toll on you in all aspects of your life. So that's definitely one of my number one pro priorities to get back on track. Brandon Rogers, hey Steve, I got a couple of Alf A L F vests from a yard sale the other day. Have you ever sold these? I believe Alf is now cool. All right. Well, I've never heard of Elf. I have heard of Cool K U H L. Um, one of the best brands out there. I love that brand. I actually own a few pairs of uh, jeans with the uh, or hiking pants in terms of the Cool brand. But um, if it's made by Cool, it's definitely going to bring in some good money. So definitely check out the sold listing. See what that um, what that tells you. A lot of times people ask, you know, what's this worth? What's that worth? Plug it into the sold listings, folks. The completed listings to get an idea of how often it's selling and stuff of that nature but that's your best resource right there but I think it's gonna be worth some good money if it's associated with cool alright let's go through a few more items that sold then I'm gonna answer some more questions and I'm gonna roll out of here looks like we got a new Ralph Lauren polo puffer vest fifty eight dollars surprised if that was brand new it only went for fifty eight but still nice item right there here we got something. What is this? Straight Satins, Satins, 1% Motorcycle Club Vest, owned and worn by Danny DiCarlo. What is going on right here? $3,100. Hold on. we got to check this out. This is crazy. I don't even know who Danny DiCarlo is, but I'm sure it's somebody very famous. Let me look this up real quick, see who this guy is. Danny DiCarlo. Looks like a crazy guy. I don't know. But what did that sell for? This was they were offering it for three thousand one hundred dollars and this sold for two thousand bucks. What in the world is going on right now? Somebody leave a comment. Let me know what is happening right here. Straight satins, satins, I can't even speak English right now. S F V Wow. You are looking at a one-of-a-kind item from one of the most notorious motorcycle clubs in California. Not only is this the straight Satan's vest and original, it actually belonged to Danny DiCarlo, a known associate with, with Charles Manson and the family while living at the Spawn Movie Ranch. This vest is remarkable condition for the amount of abuse that must have took over the years if only it could talk. Oh my gosh, wow! When did this thing just sell? This thing must have sold recently because I'm at the, the start of the sold listings. That's crazy. How many bids were on this? It looks like it was a buy it now for two thousand dollars. Wow. That is some craziness. I gotta go into the comment section, see what you folks are saying real quick. Two thousand dollars for a vest. Holy moly, what is happening here, folks? What is going on? It right, doesn't look like anybody is uh, talking about it yet. Bradley Kessler, tell us your impression of flipping profits. He was actually an awesome guy, dude, for real. Um, you know, he uh, he kind of uh, you know could put on that little that little uh, act if you want to call it that. He could kind of go in and out of character. So he's a really talented guy, super smart. I thought he was really intellectual, and he held himself um, you know really nicely. So I thought he was an awesome guy. Would love to meet him sometime, really. He's uh, wicked cool. If you guys aren't subscribed to Flippin' Profits, type that into the search bar on e on, uh, on eBay. On YouTube and subscribe to him. You're going to get your mind blown, I guarantee it. Raykin, you mentioned that one should expect returns when selling clothing. Can you tell us how many returns you average a month, if you don't mind? 
Um, it really depends. I mean, there's been months that have gone by where I only got maybe one or two returns. And, um, you know, that's not a lot considering how much I sell. That could maybe be 1% of my uh, sold inventory because sometimes I could sell upwards to 200 items or more uh, per month depending on how I'm pricing things. So, you know, sometimes it could be one or two. I don't think I've ever gone a month without any. And uh, other times it could be higher up to six or seven or eight, um, which is rare to get that high. But this month, man, the returns have been coming in like crazy. Um, for some reason or another, and it's it's not my fault. It really isn't. They're they're ret they're returning it, saying it doesn't fit properly. I you know I forgot to check the measurements. Oh, my husband gained ten pounds. Like a bunch of nonsense. So it is what it is. It just it happens. Um, you know it's part of the game. And in my return policy, I say that you know you can't return items due to clothing not fitting properly. But then again, it's kind of just a bluff because. If you're going to go head-to-head -head with these people returning items, they're going to take you down. All they got to do is hit the item not described or, you know, take a knife and rip a piece of the fabric and say, oh, there's a rip in it, and now they have to take the return. So really, if someone comes and wants to return it, um, you know, just do it. But I kind of have a little uh, return policy that kind of scares away some of the people who are trying to play games. But it's part of the game. I mean, look at these businesses like Walmart or Home Depot or... Uh, you know, any big retail box store, they get a ton of returns, and it's just part of the game. The key is to just minimize them as much as possible by taking really good pictures, um, you know, describing your items accurately, including measurements, filling out the item specifics correctly. So when people uh, bring up your listing through the mobile phone, a lot of times they'll look just at the item description or item specifics that, you know, they can get the information they need, and uh, it's all about just putting yourself in a better position, in a position that's going to be less likely for you to get a return, if that makes any sense. All right, let's check out another item. That was crazy, though. Two thousand dollars for that, for that Charles Manson Association uh, vest right there. Here we got another CC Filson vest, sixty-four bucks. Awesome brand right there. This is a awesome brand. If you guys aren't selling this brand, you are messing up. I'm telling you right now, this brand is one of the best brands out there. Sweet brand. I think this was in 101 Killer Clothing Brands. I'm pretty sure it was. The brand is Diesel. Oh, Diesel. What an awesome brand right there. Sells every time. Sells for a great profit. Very expensive in the stores. This looks like it's a cable knit or just a knitted uh, vest. I'm trying to see what the material is. It looks like it is acrylic cotton and wool, so it's a tri-blend. Awesome item right there. Diesel, 69 bucks, one bid, uniquely made with a collar. This casual, everyday, cream-thick vest was built based on the traditional cable-knitted method. Blah, blah, blah. Awesome item right there. That's all you got to know. This actually shipped out to, or maybe it shipped from Canada. I believe that's where Coco Army's from, so shout out to Coco Army, Canada. Maybe that was him. Nope. Young Peas, five feedback, probably wasn't. Diesel. Don't pass that up. I'm telling you right now. You're going to make a, a big boo-boo. Here we got a vest. True Religion. Awesome brand right here. Probably the most uh, commonly found in terms of jeans. But, uh, you know, just make sure if you find any item in a higher-end brand such as this example, True Religion, that you authenticate it first. And uh, there's a few different ways you could authenticate items. You could go to the actual uh, website of the brand. So you could go to truereligion.com or whatever it is and kind of check out their section that talks about real and fakes and what to look for. You could also post it in forums online. Um, probably my favorite way to do this is to go on Facebook groups and post a picture of the item and let people kind of give you an idea of what they think and if the majority of people think it's real, you're probably good to go. Um, a lot of these people in these Facebook groups have been doing it a lot longer than me and maybe even you. So, you know, it's good to be able to see what other people think. I've posted things such as purses in there, and within five minutes, the girls will be laughing at me saying, Steve, that is a knockoff. That's a bootleg. What's wrong with you? Just making jokes. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not the best at authenticating items. I just take calculated risks and see what others think and then try to learn my lesson down the road. But this is a true religion. Denim vest. Looks like it's got the nice brass buttons, the two double front pockets, the collar. Forty-six fifty-five, two bids plus eight seventy-five to ship. Nice little item right there. Next up is oh my gosh, what another another 
amazing brand right here. Patagonia. This is definitely in my top three um, in terms of all-time brands. Sells hot hot cakes. Sells like a hot cake. Awesome brand right here. Patagonia. Goose down. It's not a sweater. Um, I guess maybe you could consider it to be one. I don't. I don't know, but. Really nice uh, Patagonia vest right here. Just amazing brand. I'm telling you guys, Patagonia sells anything Patagonia. Jackets, long sleeve button front shirts, short sleeve button front shirts, polo shirts. I mean, awesome item right here. Try to focus on the bigger items for the super high profits like the jackets and the vests. They do really well. But 75 bucks. Keep your eye out also for like brighter colors. They seem to do well too. Um, and also the uh, the T-snap fleeces with like the Aztec Southwestern Design Killer Profits. Look those things up. But this one's for 75 bucks. Item location, Boulder, Colorado. I'm going to check the comments real quick again. We're going to wrap this up real soon. So if you got a question or you want to say what up or anything like that, you want to plug your YouTube channel, I'll shout you out. Just let me know real quick. <clears throat> Just refreshing the comments to see what's going on. Can you tell us how to see the accepted offers? Yeah, sure. Um, let me go in right now and find one. It's really easy. You just hit the print button. I'm going to try to find one real quick. All right, so if this is what you're asking, how to see the uh, accepted offers, pretty much you go to the page that sold. So you see this was for $29.99, best offer accepted. You scroll down to the part that says print right here to the left of report item. You hit print, and it will bring up the accepted item, the, accept, <laughs> the accepted price that it sold for, which is $25. let us go back into the comment section. Sherry Harrison, that's crazy for a vest. The world has gone mad, I know. $2,000, that's ridiculous. Powder Monkey 99, silly, dot, dot, dot. You're silly. Golden Finger Picker, don't forget your tip of the day for the brand new reseller. Oh, I'm supposed to include a tip of the day, Chad? Is that how I'm supposed to do it? The tip of the day is to go over to Golden Finger Picker's YouTube channel. Check out the Picker Church. Wow, I'm so corny. Tip of the day. Let me think off the top. The tip of the day. I'd say the tip of the day, and I kind of covered this before, was never to judge a book by its cover. And in terms of clothing, never judge a piece of clothing based on its brand. Always look past the brand. Look at selling points such as size, design, color. Get a feel for the season. Um, get a feel for the material. The cashmere stuff sells well. The Irish linen stuff sells well. The suede leather sells well. Look past the brand. Don't just look at a brand and discriminate and say bad brand, not profitable. Look past it, and uh, you know you're gonna find yourself selling items and finding a lot more items when you're outsourcing that people are passing up and are kind of just, you know, just neglecting. So look past the brand. That's my tip of the day for you, Chad. All right, I'm going to refresh the comments one more time, and uh, I think I'm going to get rolling out of here. Powder Monkey, the vest price was silly. Yeah, that was a crazy, crazy, silly, silly price right there. Sherry Harrison, I would love it if you shout out my YouTube channel, Sherry Harrison. So I'm unfamiliar with that YouTube channel, but definitely check her out. See what it's all about. I'm going to check it out after as well. Sherry or Cherry Harrison, C-H-E-R-I-E -E Harrison. Bradley Kessler sold Patagonia t-shirt, $24.99 shipped. So like Bradley even said, it proves you know Patagonia sells. Even the t-shirts sell, $24.99, not bad. I'm sure you paid a dollar or two. Shipped it off first class for maybe $2.39 and you know, made yourself a nice little $18 profit. Awesome. Steve, what brands sell more internationally? Disneyland and original sport items have worked for me. Um, one brand that sells internationally often for me is the brand Tundra. I'm not familiar. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that brand, but I always seem to ship that off internationally. Um, another brand that I sell a lot of internationally is Ralph Lauren Polo, believe it or not, especially like the stuff that I find brand new with tags. 
Um, I know a lot of their stuff probably has to get imported. So Ralph Lauren Polo really does go internationally quite often. All right, I'm going to actually go into the uh, eBay sold listings and look at, we're going to look at two more brands. I'm going to go back into comments. I'm going to wrap this up. Wow, take a look at this thing right here. Excellent tactical nylon black hunting shooting vest, unbranded. So this doesn't even have a brand, but it was so freaking cool looking that it brought in $99.99. There was a best offer accepted of 55 buckaroos. I mean, this is something that like the SWAT team maybe wears or like some type of law enforcement. This is freaking awesome. Look at the vest on the side. The it looks like maybe a a, a part for like a, a plate for your back for Kevlar or some type of protection. I'm not sure. I'm not really familiar with that type of stuff. But 55 bucks unbranded, which proves, you know, even something that doesn't have a brand or the tag was ripped off, you can still sell it if it looks cool. Just recently, I found a really Awesome looking pearl snap shirt. Had a floral design, and um, I put it up. There's like three or four watchers on it. It's just really cool. You can still sell stuff without brands on it, brand name. And the last item we're gonna take a look at is let's find something really cool. All right, here we go. Here's a brand that I'm unfamiliar with. Let's let's do a little learning together. Together, the brand is Cripple Creek. Vintage suede leather snap up western motorcycle vest, men's large. So this is a brand I'm unfamiliar with. I'm going to write this down as we speak and do some more research on it. Let me show you the tag. Cripple Creek. Almost looks like a territory a head vest that I had sold uh, a little while ago. It looks like they ran a 50% off sale. So this guy was not messing around. He was going to get this thing out the door. $39.99. Cripple vest. Like I said, it was leather. Western in nature. Looks like he provided one, two, three, four measurements, which is really cool. It's definitely going to help the item to sell. But um, there you go, Cripple Creek. I'm going to go into the uh, the comment section one last time. If you have any questions or whatever, put them in the comment section right now. I'm going to be rolling out of here in about a minute or two. But it's been fun. It's been fun doing some research with you folks and talking, doing some Q&A. It's really helpful not only to me, but hopefully it helps you to you know make better buying decisions and educate yourself and you know get started selling clothes or just sharpen up your tools when you're you know doing your thing. That's really what it's all about. Billy said, "How many items did you have listed before you noticed you had multiple sales per day? I have around 60 so far and get a few sales every couple of days. Um, I say once I got over the hundred mark." For inventory, I think I started getting multiple sales. Again, it really is going to depend upon the type of items that you're picking up. If you're picking up primarily like suits and stuff, you might not sell as many as quick because they are slower sales. But when they do sell, they pop for like the equivalent of like five or six items. But if you're picking up a lot of popular brands like polo shirts and button fronts, and you know you're diversifying and you're picking up brands that are really high demand, you can get away with 30 or 40 or even 15 items. In your inventory, it just depends what you have. But I'd say once I went over that hundred mark, based on the knowledge I had at that period of time, I started seeing more sales on a daily basis, multiple sales. Exper Experimental vaccine says, or asks, when selling large items, is it worth selling it on eBay as pick it up only, or is Craigslist better for large items? Well, for example, I've sold. Like when I first got started, I sold a lot of bicycles, to say the least, when I first got started. And the only way that I would put it on eBay, a bicycle, and that's a big item, is if it was worth it for me to actually pay the shipping to ship it out and get it packaged up. So what I'm trying to say is it really depends on how much the item is going to sell for. And you also got to take into consideration what it's going to sell for on a local basis versus what it would sell for if you offered it to the whole world. So for example, like I had a Cannondale bicycle that I ended up selling on eBay and the reason why I did was because locally it was only going to fetch, you know, within a reasonable time maybe 150 to $250, whereas if I put it on eBay, I was I was going to be able to get 5, 6, 650 dollars around there. It did sell for I think around 600 or 550. So it was worth it for me to put it on there and, you know, have it packaged up and ship it out and take the risk of it being damaged. So you really got to assess 
the item and the profit potential, the risk that's involved. Um, but you know, sometimes it's just not worth it to ship it out. Sometimes you're only going to want to do local pickup if you're worried or there's not a lot of profit potential. But you know, a lot of items I do sell on Craigslist because it's just not worth it for the little bit more money that I can get on eBay. So hopefully that helps. O1 Wolf, Wolf, got a Zegna or a Yegna jacket and shirt. The jacket is a three-button double vent. Looks like it was a suit at one time. Can I still sell it without the slacks? Absolutely. Um, sometimes it's a little harder if it's like, I don't know, something that's supposed to be with a suit or maybe it's going to be hard to match with something. But you could still sell it. I'm sure there's somebody out there who would appreciate it, especially a higher-end brand like that. So I would I would sell it um, you know, as a, as a suit jacket, as a top. And just disclose that the trousers or the slacks aren't going to be included. And I'm sure you'll find somebody. I've sold stuff like that quite often. Hey, Steve, for auction clothing bids, do you offer free shipping or do you make the buyer cover it? Thanks. Um, I mostly offer free shipping. Most of my stuff only costs a few dollars to ship, maybe upwards to 10 for clothing. So a lot of times I'll just bake the price, the shipping, into the actual price. And when I do auctions, I usually don't start the auction off at a price I'd be uncomfortable selling it at. So let's say I w would be willing to sell an item for $19.99 at least. I'm not going to start my, my auction at $0.99 cents or $14.99. I'm going to start it at $19.99 uh, knowing that it has potential to maybe get up to 30 But I'm going to start it at a, place, at a price that I'd be comfortable with it selling at if only had one bid. But most of the time I do buy it now. I'm not really a huge fan of auctions. But auctions do have some benefits. One example of a benefit would be increased traffic because a lot of people or a lot of auctions bring in traffic to your store. Experimental vaccines, awesome. Thanks for the info. Have you considered buying truckloads or pallets of store poles to sell on eBay or FBA? Um, not right now. Maybe in the future. I haven't really considered it too much, to be honest. I'm pretty busy as it is already with eBay and you know writing books and YouTube and Amazon, so I mean, and Craigslist. So right now I'm kind of pretty, um, pretty tied up as it is, and I'm not really trying to what's the word, increase my eBay too much more. I, I like to have my eggs in different baskets, different platforms, and uh, I try not to invest too much in one thing, but that could change in the future. Louis the seller, I'm seriously looking to join the green room. Is there any requirements that must be met to join? Um, well, the only requirement, I guess, is to pay the subscription fee. It is $100 for the year, which comes out to what? eight dollars a month so once you make payment for the actual one-year subscription I mean you're in there I mean the only requirements is to stay positive be helpful you know we keep it drama free in there it's all about being positive and helping each other out so I mean there's no real requirements I mean there's a lot of information in there I think we're up to 125 members the community is really growing strong and I tell you right now people are really making some really good money in there we've got a lot of exclusive uh, articles in there and putting videos in there and just stuff that you can't get on the YouTube channel and you know one-on-one -on -one interaction so it's definitely an awesome place I would definitely uh, check it out if you're looking to step up your game and surround yourself with positive people that are you know trying their best and making money alright so it looks like that's about it I'm gonna wrap things up for now uh, I just wanna thank you folks for spending your time on a Sunday to uh, watch this live hangout. Hopefully you learned a few new brands, price points, items that you can buy and sell. Hopefully I was able to help you out by answering some questions and to uh, get you moving in the right direction. So if you guys like this video, again, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed. If you want to um, stay up to date with videos and stuff of that nature and exclusive content, definitely check me out on Facebook at Rake and Profit. Like Louis the seller was talking about, if you want to, um, you know, join the green room, definitely do so. It's something that could definitely benefit you. Um, the community is growing. We're up to 125 members. Of course, it does require a hundred dollar investment on your part, but honestly, there's some information in there that could help you to make your money back within a snap of a finger. So again, thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a great day, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.